Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use PDO on an iOS device. I will use an iPad, but the process is similar on an iPhone and actually quite close on an Android device as well. Go to the application store and look out for PDO. You download it, install it in your iPad. When opening the application, you'll be asked to configure a server connection. The address and credential you will use are exactly the same as the one you would use to access PDO through a web browser. Write them down in the text areas. Save, and you'll be able to go through all your different workspaces. For example, here I'm going into a picture folder and I'll get instantly some preview of its content. As you can see, I can navigate through the pictures by swiping right or left on the screen. PDO will use embedded iOS viewers to display the files directly within the application. For example, as for a PDF file, you can navigate through the whole document. Once I've selected a file, by touching for two seconds the iPad, I can keep it into my iPad for a later offline use. The file can be accessed from the workspace panel under the offline folder. Let's use the search engine to find the document by its name. I now want to edit this file using an external application. Use the top right Share button to show the installed application able to open this file. Here I'm using documents to edit the text. So let's write some very important thing right here. We save the file in the documents application, rename it, and then Go back to PDO using the same Open With button. The file is now copied to my clipboard and I can navigate to any folder where I want to upload it. Here it is, and as you can see, the text is now edited. Now let's go back to the root panel and see how to secure files in PDO. Click on the lock symbol to activate the code protection. Enter any name and code you want. Now, whenever you leave the application, next time you'll be asked for the PIN code. Otherwise, you'll be locked out and unable to access your docs. And then you might need to reinstall the application from scratch. Finally, I'm going to show you how to bookmark some files. I select the file and click on the Bookmark to open the Bookmarks tab. Then, select the plus sign. And that it is. That's it for today, folks. Thank you for choosing Pedio.